Hello, and welcome to another Ask X8. I'm Tim Bushnell with Experts Autometry. Today's question comes from Jill, and Jill asks, what's a CBA assay and how does it work? Now that's a great question, Jill. CBA, or capture bead assay, is kind of like an ELISA on steroids. What we do is we take polystyrene beads that have, have been coated, so each polystyrene bead has a different amount of a fluorescent flu, uh, fluorochrome, sometimes one or sometimes two. You can get double barcodes. You can do potentially up to 100 different analytes. Um, most people are doing 20 to 30. And each of those individual beads is labeled with a capture antibody for a specific analyte. You mix these antibodies together um, with your solution, uh, say serum. Then you come in with a detecting antibody that will detect the specific analytes that you want. You then take these beads and you run them on a flow cytometer and you measure the fluorescence so that one, you get a fluorescence uh, bead array so you can determine which bead and which analyte is where. And then the second expression level is uh, the intensity of the detecting antibody gives you a concentration. And if you have a standard curve, you can figure out how much um, of your analyte is in your sample. This is much better than doing 20 different plates of ELISAs because you're able to do it all at once. Um, you can buy a variety of kits from a variety of companies that do this. And these can be run on the special cytometers that are sold as Luminex or CBA kits, or you can run them on a standard flow cytometer. But all in all, it gives you a great amount of data on the amount, the concentration of different analytes in your um, serum samples, for example, or cell um, lysate samples. It's a great application of flow cytometry that's not using cells. Thanks for another Ask Excite. Until next time, be sure to keep up with your flow cytometry best practices right here with your friends at uh, Expert Cytometry. Cheers.